Hey, hey friends, Shannon McKinstry here with Boutique Social DC, and today we are talking Facebook groups. Now, Facebook groups are an incredible way to not only warm up your audience, but also build a really tight-knit community around your brand. So if you are ready to wake up to new member requests every day and have a super engaged audience, listen up. Okay, number one, I think this is actually the most important, is to go live at least once a week. Going live establishes you as an expert in the group, plus lives tend to get a lot of engagement. So the more engagement your live receives, the more that your group members will see the content in their feed as they scroll. And lastly, the more engagement that your lives receive, the higher chance that your Facebook group will end up in the suggested group section for other users on Facebook. Number two, make sure you're posting throughout the week. Don't disappear from your audience. They are there to learn, connect, and grow, and meet each other. So keep content engaging, start discussions, and before you post anything, make sure it's either educational, entertaining, inspiring, or informative. Number three, this is one of my favorite things that I see in Facebook groups. Make sure there's one day a week that is specific to your group and only for your group. Maybe it's one day a week where all of your members can share what they're working on or offering at the moment. Maybe it's one day a week where someone in your group can go live and practice their pitch. Something specific to you, name it something unique so that everyone thinks of you on that day and is ready for it. This specific day will not only make your members feel really special and part of an exclusive group, but if you are trying to eliminate spam and promotional posts, this is a great way to do it. So numbers four and five are all about growing. So let's start with number four. I highly suggest collaborating with someone in your niche or someone that aligns with your business because look, Facebook groups are a lot of work. Plus, if you get their audience plus yours, it's instant growth. Number five, a great way to constantly promote your Facebook group and grow is having it in your email signature, having it in your Instagram bio. Every time you're on a podcast, when people ask, hey, where can someone find out more about you? Share the link to your Facebook group. It's a great way for people to stay in touch with you, see what you're working on, and warm up your audience every single day. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't started a Facebook group yet, I beg you to do so. It's been an incredible way that I've grown my business, as well as my business partner, Emily. And it's just, it, it you know, our members just love that we provide a safe, space for them. And like I said, <laughs> as a way to promote, if you guys want to join the social squad, the link is in my bio. All right, y'all, that's it for Facebook groups for now. I hope you enjoyed this IGTV. More to come. Stay tuned. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Mwah.